When you stand still on Aisha for one second, she goes into a mana regeneration state where she will slowly regain mana if her mana is not full. After two more seconds, she will be able to memorize skills. Skills that are capable of being memorized will be highlighted. Press the skill to memorize it. The MP will be used and the skill will be put on cooldown, but the skill won't be used and will be stored. You can press V to use memorized skills. You can only memorize a max of three skills at a time. You cannot change the order of the memorized skills. Skills in the memorized slots only deal 70% of the original total damage. So first let's talk about passives. So the first passive I want to talk about is Energy Discharge. When you awaken, depending on the number of beads, you will recover MP and your max MP will be increased for the duration of the awakening. Your natural MP recovery is also increased by 20. Basically, 3 bead awakening and or staying in awakening provides additional benefits for Oz. The next passive I want to talk about is Awakened Will Void Princess. If there are no enemies within a certain range, decrease the cooldown and MP cost of skills by 20%. Basically, if you can, especially during bossing, try to stay around 2 to 3 characters away from the boss. Skills like Dark Web, Plasma Cutter, etc. are extremely easy skills to use while taking advantage of this passive. So for example, if I stay right next to this thing, the cooldown of Dark Web will be about 17 seconds. But if I move around here, it should be 14 seconds. Oh, I memorized it, oops. There you go, 14 seconds. Yeah, but if you move here, it's back to 17. And then here, it's 14. And then the next passive I want to talk about is Oz's Dream. So using Incore skills decreases the cooldown for all special active skills by 10%. So Incore skills include Petite Incore, Phantom Breath, Hell Drop, Petite Incore's Millions, and Abysmal Field. And also this passive increases debuff effects for dark skills. So basically, sometimes you will use skills for the sake of proccing this passive. Skills like Petite Incore Millions, Petite Incore, etc. are commonly used to proc this passive. So if I toss a dark web here, and then as you can see, if I use these skills, the cooldown will decrease. And then the last passive I want to talk about is Oz's power. So Oz's commands, actives, and special actives all have a 20% chance to ignore 100% defense, and this increases all Oz's special active damage by 15%. While this passive doesn't affect your gameplay because ignore defense is such an important stat these days in birth rate, I think it's important to be aware of this passive in case you ever decide to take Oz into birth rate as DPS. And on the screen right now is a recommended skill build for Oz. As for the skill explanations, for Teleport, you want to take the Light trait. For Acceleration Aura, you want to take Killing Blow 1. And this increases Physical and Magical Attack by 15%, Action Speed by 10%, Jump Speed by 5%, Movement Speed by 30% of all party members within range for 30 seconds. For Shadow Body, you want the skill trait Light. Magical Attack Power is increased by 27%, Physical Attack Power is decreased by 15%, and MP Gain while attack attacking are increased by 12% for 7 seconds. For Dark Web, the skill trait you want is Heavy, and allies within the web will recover 10% MP per second for 3 seconds. The skill can also be used in midair. Stay a bit away from opponents when casting to aim it and also to take advantage of the Awakened Will Void Princess passive. For the skill Abysmal Field, you want to take the trait Haste. For the skill Plasma Cutter, you want to go with the skill trait Heavy here. Stand a bit away from opponents when casting to take advantage of the Awakened Will Void Princess passive. The skill is good for getting Awakening beads as well. For the skill Poisonous Cloud, you want to take the Empowered trait. For Petite Incore, you want to bring the mod version of the skill, and the skill trait you want is Persistent. Summon Incores will charge in a fan shape. They will attach themselves to the target and attack every 1 second, reducing magical defense by 20% for 5 seconds on hits, then explode. The attack deals splash damage and can apply the debuff to enemies nearby as well. For the skill Aging, you want to take the skill trait Killing Blow 2. Upon being attacked by an explosion, the Aging debuff is applied for 20 seconds. And for the skill Phantom Breath, you want to bring the skill trait Killing Blow 2. And this pulls in enemies within its range, and enemies hit will receive the Curse of Darkness debuff, and it also applies the Dark Energy buff to allies within range. For the skill Petite in Cormillions, the recommended skill trait is critical, and this skill is mainly used for the sake of proccing the passive Oz's Dream. For the skill Hell Drop, you want to bring the Haste trait. 
and this skill is also mainly used for the sake of proccing the passive Austin stream. And finally, for the skill Hellstone, you want to bring the useful trait.